Hi, welcome to the part 4 of this video series. We are looking at new AC900 real exam questions. Please watch this playlist which is still relevant. It has hundreds of questions on AC900 certification. Plus there are n number of other playlists for different certifications on AWS, Azure, so on. Let's straight away jump into the questions. Question 24. This is a very basic question. Like if you have to manage Azure resources, which URL should you use? So this is a basic one. There is no logic to it. So this is the answer. We go to the portal dot azure dot com. If you type azure dot com, you will get this website. This is not used to manage the portal. If I type azure admin dot azure dot com, I get this screen. Hence, this is the right answer. Let us look at question twenty five. This is the question. So you have a data center. What the question is asking is for which type of failure you can move to a different AC if this data center fails. That is, if this fails, all the services will be activated from this data center. So if I think about it and apply a KISS principle, that is, keep it simple and stupid, if one AC fails, I move to other AC. So AC is made up of data center. So this should be my answer. If there is a data center failure, that is if this data center, this one fails, it moves to the other AC or data centers. So applying the KISS principle, this would be my answer. And I would be happy with this answer so if i use option a that is the physical server failure if you see this data center suppose these are your physical servers okay suppose this one if this one fails this one is still available or this one is still available so there is no need to route to a different AC. So A would be wrong. Now option B says region failure. So one region has multiple AZs. So if there are so many regions worldwide where Azure is available, if one region fails, the other region would be active, not the AZ. AZs are a part of a region, hence B is wrong. Now C talks about a storage failure. So this is your data center. And suppose you see this stuff here. These are your storage boxes. So if one storage, like the second one, if this fails, the third one is available you won't drop this entire AZ or the data center and move to this AZ or the data centers. Hence, C is wrong. So we have put our thoughts in place and arrived at option D as an answer and are happy with it. Let's see 26. So you have a data center and then there are VMs running on these data centers or this data center. If this data center fails, you need to make sure that the services of the virtual machines are still available. Available. The question gives you the solution. They will use two or more resource groups. So suppose this is a resource group which has like three VMs. Will it solve this problem? Now this resource group or similar resource groups are 
on this data center and this data center fails so the resource groups gets wiped out and hence the answer would be no because it won't work the resource groups would be lost if the data center fails so this answer looks good let's look at 27 we have the same question but a different solution scale set is the solution proposed why would it work think about it for a second what are scale sets so suppose you have one vm and it can handle a load of 10 users what happens if there are 30 users this guy here won't be able to handle it and yeah that's not good so we would use scale sets we would put the vm on scale sets so that if there are 30 users then three vms will be added because each vm can handle 10 users it is an availability solution now some people say that scale sets have the capability to create vms on different az's okay yes it is but that would not work here because the question says you just have a single data center so the first thing you have to do is first thing what you need to add a data center or you need to add an az and then you will tell your scale sets to create a single zone or a zone redundant scale sets so this is my answer and i think we are happy with this answer please subscribe to my channel stay tuned in for more such contents this channel is dedicated to help you with cloud certifications primarily aws and azure on this channel you will find several playlists which will help you clear various certifications on cloud this brings us to the end of part four see you in the next part